everyone welcome to the first video tutorial on the simulation workbench. Simlib Composer can also be used as a computer-aided engineering tool. To make you familiar with it, I'm going to take you on a quick tour inside it. To switch to the simulation workbench, click the simulation workbench button which appears on the workbench's bar. The simulation workbench is dedicated for executing physical and mechanical simulations within Simlib Composer application. Its interface is designed in such a way that helps you easily create and simulate complex mechanisms which can be imported from various file formats supported by Simlib Composer. The ribbon of the simulation workbench, composed of three tabs, it provides all the tools necessary to create solids, link them, and finally dot running the simulation. When the solids tab is active on the simulation ribbon, its workspace is presented by its toolbars. The geometries tree, solids tree, and the models library. You can open a sample model from models library, double click or drag and drop a model. As you notice, the solids tree shows the solids that build up this model. Upon selection, the properties panel of the selected solid appears on the left side of the application window. The links tree displays the defined links in the current model. Also when a link is selected, its properties panel appears on the left side. You can select solids and links either from the tree view or directly from the 3D area. Now, to demonstrate the mechanism behavior, run the simulation by pressing the Start Simulation button located on the panel of the Simulation tab. The Plotting library shows plotting area of two graphs while being updated in real time showing the relationship between variables. You can change the properties of a solid or link from its properties panel. Run the simulation again to see the difference in the model's behavior and its new plotting graphs. Using the simulation workbench you can model the dynamic behaviors of objects in 3D space. This was a quick and easy way for running a simulation project. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.